Hey guys, so I thought I'd show you like a sick crazy day routine, so I'm just going to tell you what happens before this point. So, wake up in the morning and mom's like, you're going to miss the bus, and I text her and I'm like, mom, I'm sick, and she's like, okay. So go upstairs, grab your tea, whatever tea you want, I had like three glasses of tea, and you know, so do that, and then sleep until you feel better. And then we start here. Okay, so first thing you need to do is get out of your pajamas and get dressed. Now, I don't know why I just got dressed, but uh, before you do that, you should probably shower, which is what I'm about to do. Ow, my throat. Salt water. Okay. Sick day, lazy day, makeup. I always start off my day with a quote. May 13th quote of the day from my uh, inner bitch calendar says, Your inner bitch knows we teach the world how to treat us. Make sure you're teaching the people in your life the right things. That's the quote of the day. So the first thing I always do is I wash my face with this oxy shit. I, kn I already washed my face in the shower, so my face should be pretty clean. But I don't want any bacteria living on there because I do touch my face a lot because I'm an idiot. Oh, ooh, yeah, I definitely cleaned my face pretty good. It tingles. Oh, it tingles a lot. Okay. Some days it's worse than others. That um, smoothie required another teeth brushing episode because that didn't have any uh, fruit. So it was solid vegetable. That's always yummy. Alright, I don't know why I'm shaking this shit. Don't need it yet. So, wash. I use the Nivea um, Mattifying Daycare um, Moisturizer. It's kind of... It's not the best. But it does help keep my face pretty oily. You try not to moisturize where your acne is. Um, well, I don't. I know that that's not exactly good for it because I do get uh, really dry spots exactly where my acne is. Like literally when I get a pimple it just dries up and gets all flaky and gross looking. But uh, if I moisturize it it just soaks up the oil and gets bigger and that is not fun. I don't know how you guys do your makeup but I just kind of brush my hair over my face so that it's not chilling in there okay I like to use I already opened this to shake it up I don't know why I opened it to shake it up I use the L'Oreal Paris um, Magic Nude and I'm pretty sure mine is in classic ivory yes it is so I'm pale it doesn't take much you just kind of dab it on your face and then you spread it with a finger I just do this to remove redness. I don't cover up, really. Not unless I'm doing something really important. I know you guys probably can't see that well because of the lighting in my room right now because the sun's behind me and there's not much I can do about that at the moment. So yeah, a little bit, just a tiny, tiny bit to go over the acne areas, which is my mouth. 
I do not know why. I'm trying to change my diet. I want to eat healthier and be healthier in general and maybe that will help. I'm pretty sure that it will. See, less red, but still there. I like to keep it real. Most people don't agree with that statement. <laughs> don't be offended. I'm not saying you're fake if you cover up your acne. Because if I had skin that would allow for it, I would. But um, my face basically just pushes anything I put on it off, including primer. And no matter what I do, it'll get oily really quickly. And um, I'll just blend it a little bit with my fingers to make sure it's pretty smooth and seamless. Okay. Flop my hair back. It's lazy day, so you don't want to do too much. This is going to be the part of the video that's longest just because I don't have the energy to edit. So you guys are just going to get all the points. I like to use like this, um, I have this palette here. And I, I like to use this shade. It's kind of a brownish, maybe even like greenish. But it goes pretty good with my face. And I lost my handheld mirror. It's gone. Okay, we'll just break some shit. And we'll use this giant palette mirror that I just broke a couple of minutes ago. And I have uh, pretty big eyebrows. I just like them to be shapely because I have some spots in them. So I just need a little bit of touch up. I like to take a little bit of a darker brown and just go under the bottom and over the top corner and then just blend, blend, blend. Like that. Both both my eyebrows are made are kind of the same. Um, always remember that your eyebrows aren't supposed to look exactly the same. Like Michelle Fawn says, they're sisters but not twins. If your eyebrows are perfectly the same, that's kind of scary. Talented, yes, but kind of scary. Blend, blend, blend. Quick upward strokes, you know the deal. And if you don't know the deal, well, you know the deal now. So, win. So, my brows. Should I do my face portion first? I like to, typically speaking, I like to have a little bit of contour, but I can't seem to. Oh, here it is. So. I have a bronzer right here. Y'all don't need to see it because it's in a big palette. I like to get some on. Brush it on both sides and then blend it in circular motions over the upper edge of my cheekbones. A little bit more on that side, I think. I bring it all the way up and then I blend it up and down just so it doesn't have too straight of a line, right? Some people don't like that, but I like it, so that's what I do. And then I add a highlighter. It's got a streak of brown in the center of it. Don't know why. A little highlight underneath and a little bit above. Underneath and a little bit above. Over the nose and the chin. And a really light, really light pink blush because I'm pale, and if I put my blush too dark, I look like I'm trying to be some sort of weird Lady Gaga makeup artist. No offense to Lady Gaga, or people who like to do their makeup like that, that just doesn't suit me. And typically speaking, I'm going to line my eyes now with this brown, it's a Jordana pencil liner, it's in the color Expresso. I just line the corner of the bottom. And the corner of the top, and I don't really care if the line's perfect because it's just going to fall out anyways. Okay.
curl your lashes. Doesn't take much for that. And I use the Shocking Extensions uh, mascara. And I cannot read the color. It's black. So. Just do some quick strokes or however it is that your eyelashes like it. I do it like this. Like really lightly like tapping and pulling off. I have a lot of eyelashes and they're pretty long and I like to have them all kind of really defined and for chunkier mascaras it's harder to define them because I don't need to make them thicker or longer really but I like to so you can kind of see and that's all I have to do I would moisturize my lips but I don't know what moisturizer is so basically Easy, fresh, slightly flawless, but a little flawed makeup on a sick day can make you feel better and healthier and more confident. Let's go start the day. Okay, so that video was probably super long. I'm just going to list off a couple extra tips on how to feel better on your sick day. Um, one thing that you for sure should do is once you've got up and showered and done your makeup and whatever else to pretty up uh, go down to your living space wherever it is and clean up everything because when you're sick you tend to leave tissues and water bottles and I don't know I'm about to sneeze mm -hmm, don't want to all those things are germy and they make you think of being sick which will make you feel sick so what I do is I pick it up I throw it out I wash the blankets I wash the bed sheets I wash the floors I wash my phone because I've been touching it because I'm sick so that's the first thing clean the fuck up and then do something do not sit there on YouTube Watching videos, Netflix, whatever it is that you do. Do not. Get up. Do what you love to do. I'm going to finish making a project that I've been working on for a while. It's going to be really exciting. And you guys are going to love it. Even though there's only like six of you now. You know some bubbles. Those make everybody happy. Don't land on my toes. Ooh. Landed on my toes. I could have just moved my toes, but I didn't. And yeah. I am almost done cleaning everything up. So maybe you can leave me a thumbs up and let me know if you like the idea of having a room tour. I have a really interesting eclectic room. It's a large space cluttered up with a lot of interesting things. So, you know like and enjoy and have a great beautiful day feel better you sick lazy people get out there and feel better I'm just saying I did a really good job on the makeup today Ciao.